Trey's always on her P's and Q's. She always, she's up by like five o'clock in the morning. She's always working hard. She always pushes me if I want to sleep in. She's just like, you know what, you can't sleep in. You gotta keep it, you gotta keep it moving at all times. So she's been like, she's, she, it's a blessing to have her in my life and to have her as at arm's length. So um, Trey's a hard worker and she inspires everyone she's around. Playwright, executive producer, actor, creator, and stand-up comedian Trey Anthony is known for the groundbreaking theatrical production, The Kink in My Hair. Anthony has been in the entertainment industry for more than 15 years. She debuted The Kink in My Hair at the Toronto Fringe Festival. The play was later featured at the prestigious Prince of Wales Theatre. It has won four NAACP awards and has been named one of the top 10 plays in Canada's theatrical history. I'm an actor, playwright, and producer, and I guess my, my biggest work I would be known for is being the creator of the Kink in My Hair TV show and play. I would say my work ethic really is one of, I work very, very hard. Um, I live by the motto of what my grandmother always used to say to me when I was younger growing up, and she said, to have the life that most people want, you must be willing to do the work that most people won't. Anthony is the first black Canadian woman to write and produce a television show on a major primetime Canadian network. She's a former television producer for the Women's Television Network and a writer for the Comedy Network and CTV. She is also the executive producer of the Urban Women's Comedy Festival. She also co-wrote I Am Not a Dinnerman, The Crap Women Swallow to Stay in a Relationship. I definitely say I'm an innovator. I, I like to kind of think outside of the box that people define me in and say this is how it should go. And um, a risk taker, definitely a risk taker. I believe um, I never hear the word, oh, you can't do this or, oh, it's never been done or, oh, well, no one's done that. And I'm just like, why not? She make me lay down and wrong and laugh till my belly hurt me. Is it me? And that, like, there has to be room for that because that keeps us sane in the insanity of all of this, right? I believe there's nothing called failure. The only failure you have is when you don't try to do something. From everything that didn't go as successful as I expected it to go, I learned lessons that then helped me go on to something else and make it even bigger and greater than I had ever anticipated. So I don't believe there's any time that you fail, but I think you fail yourself when you do not try. That is your biggest failure. She's definitely uh, a woman on a mission. In 2009, Anthony founded the Trey Anthony One Center in Toronto, a women-focused creative wellness facility where she offers classes on creative writing, well-being, and spirituality. She hopes the center will help change the way Canadian women view themselves. In 2009, Anthony executive produced the hit play Secrets of a Black Boy, which was a box office success. She is now busy working on her new production, The Trey Anthony Show, as well as a talk show, her birthday Big Bash, Talk Dirty, and her first feature film. She has recently been named a featured contributor and writer for the Toronto Star. And for more information, check out her blog at thetruthaccordingtotrey.blogspot.com. Integrity. I believe you should be a person of your word. Um, I think, too, respect. I think it's really important to respect everybody who's around you and in your team. I think three would be innovation. You need to always be redefining yourself and creating new things and being excited about life. Four, fearless. You have to be fearless in everything that you do. And then five, I think open the door for others. Um, no matter how high you get in this um, industry or in th this world, I think it's really important to give back to a community that has supported you and to always make yourself as access accessible as possible. Um, because I know if it wasn't for a lot of people who opened doors for me, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I always try my best to be a role model and a mentor and be accessible to quote unquote the community and to especially um, young black women who are out there who see me as a role model.